there. My name is Kenneth and I am the PSLE Science Specialist here at the Big Lab Learning Center. In this video, I'm going to share with you my secret strategy for studying PSLE Science. If your child has been working so hard in the last few months without much progress, and he or she has been getting frustrated with overwhelming self-doubt and disappointment, then you need to hear this. I'm going to offer your child an opportunity to break this cycle of failure. The fact is that most children do not know how to study. When they do not do well during examinations and they see their friends scoring, they simply conclude that, well, I am not as intelligent as my peers in school. But the bigger question here today is, is this really true? In my four and a half years as a student, I have seen this replay multiple times over in my students. Even for myself when I was a student, I went through this exact same experience which motivated me to find an effective study strategy. Studying science isn't about simply taking out a guidebook and reading through it. The people who do that treat it like a storybook. However, at the end, they do not remember the details. And in science, we are so concerned about the details. So at this moment, I'm going to unveil my secret formula for success so that your child can benefit, maximize his potential, and give his best shot at the PSLE science. The first step to tackling science is to identify the areas in science in which your child is weak at. So what I'll be doing is that I'll provide a list of 10 topics so that you can classify questions uh, in which your child has always had difficulty doing or questions that your child has always got wrong. These are the questions that we're looking at and I want you to compile them under the list of topics that I have provided. Okay, so I have compiled some questions on my own as well. Let us look at the first question first. The picture below shows a plant cell. Which one of the following part of the plant cell cannot be found in an animal cell? So from this question, I interpret that we must be able to understand the similarities and differences between animal cell and plant cell. So this is something that I would like to write down. Similarities between animal cell and plant cell. Okay, let's look at the next question. The table below compares the parts between cell X and cell Y. And looking at the table, I spotted keywords, absent, present. So a lot of students, what they do is that when they refer to these parts of the cell, they say uh, they have this part, they don't have this part. Uh, these are non-scientific words. So keywords we want to memorize, absent, present. Okay, uh, looking at the question further, based on the information provided in the table, which statements are true? Cell Y does not have a regular shape. Cell X is unable to make its own food. Both cells allow some substances to enter and exit. You realize that these are references to the definitions of certain specific parts of the cell, but it is not specific in this question here. So to be able to tackle this question, this is something uh, that we need to understand or know. So from here, I say that we need to label and memorize each part, each definition of the different parts of the cell. After analyzing an additional 10 to 20 questions of the same topic, you will start to see a trend in which questions are being asked. Using these insights that you have gained, you will be able to develop an extremely detailed information sheet where only the most important tested concepts are included. Using this strategy on the other topics in the PSLE syllabus will enable you to consolidate your knowledge and eventually empower yourself to become a walking guidebook. This has become a reality for many of the students that I have coached. And so this is a sample of what your end product might look like. Your child might take one to two hours for each topic, but this will speed up his or her learning curve much faster than picking up a guidebook to read or continuing to work on the same practice questions, getting the very same questions wrong all over again. So right now, I'm going to offer you an even better opportunity. Comment, I want to make this happen with your email and I will work with your child on a one-to-one, -one, one hour session to develop a personalized information sheet for his or her top three weakest topics. So don't forget to comment in the box below if you want to redeem this opportunity to work with me. Do like this video and share it with people who you think may benefit as well. Thank you for watching and goodbye.